All right, we'll do a little bit of this. I'll try not to go as overboard today. I think it'll be easier to do that because it's flower cleanup, most likely. But yeah, ah, man, this week. It's gonna be uh, a weekend of probably being indoors a lot because the temperatures are just gonna go up from tomorrow? No, Sunday, okay. Um, yeah, truly summer, like next week. So I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna avoid being outside. You're obsessed with Dream Dreamlight Valley now that you have to beat it. I mean, how do you beat it? What's the end goal in that game? I never asked. Do I want to trade? It's cold. So cold that there was heat steam coming off trees. I mean, eh, I don't know. I don't mind the cold. Because the cold I'm talking about is not really cold, and it's. We're probably talking about the same thing, right? So. I wouldn't mind it. I think I, it's just, I want to go back to wearing hoodies and whatnot. Dreamlight Valley has a full story. You have to get everyone's memories back. Oh, right, yeah, he did mention that. It takes a hundred hours to do all the main quests. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't think even paying off all my loans in this game took that long. I mean, granted, I did use the, uh, the turnip market thing. Okay, he's here. I gotta do the sea sports thing. but I'll get it. Fancy. Okay. I'm gonna get changed and then I'll figure out what I'll do first. I'll probably do the fishing thing to get it out of the way. I might get something unique to this season. Or month, I should say. I keep saying season. How many hours do I have in this? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember if the game keeps track of it properly, because this is on a new Switch console, and then I still have my file on the console I had before this one. But I want to say easily 200 hours between the two islands. Because when this first came out in 2020, I yeah, it, it took over. It was like the perfect game for that time. Python slacks, okay. But they got like full on ruffled dress. I think I have these already. Oh. I don't know, I might just take off the skull hat and the glasses and then just leave it at that. Yeah, I mean, that's just the in-game outfits. You can actually 
browse people. People have custom outfits, so... There's some pretty good ones out there. Like, I'm too lazy, but I did design a hat with my logo on it on the other file, but... I couldn't work out how to bring it across. And I did a hoodie as well. But I didn't want to sit there and draw it again for like half an hour. But yeah, it's kind of crazy what you can find. People do like cosplay outfits and stuff. sell all this stuff I have on me. Dreamlight Valley has that ability to start getting into making stuff yourself. It's a lot of time. Oh, it's a lot of fun, but time consuming. I can't read. I've been doing too much reading. <laughs> Uh You can't share designs. Oh, that's kind of a downer. Yeah, here you can share them. And they've had that feature since it was on the DS. remind myself what I was doing. I set up the walls here. And this, I think, is done. Yeah, I replaced the restaurants and turned them into food trucks, so I think that's all I gotta finish today. The kind of loosely based one off um, a burger place here. Let's see. A pretty good place. But, uh, so they built this apartment building, and then they took decommissioned trains and put the carriages on the roof of the apartment building to be decorative. And then this burger place opened at the, uh, the base of the building. So they made it a thing where you buy burgers and then you go to the roof of the building and sit in these train carriages that overlook the city. It's pretty cool. But the whole thing is you can get pretty good burgers, but then you can also put stuff in your burger that's food that you get at a train station. <laughs> Just like fried stuff, so you can put stuff to kind of overload them. So, I based this place off it. And then made a ramen food truck. I guess, kind of Jamiroquai, but not really. I just need a room that shifts. And yeah, I'm using the safety barriers as part of the uh, aesthetic. 
Except it's a pizza place because there's no burgers. At least not to my knowledge. No, I might set myself for an easy thumbnail here. <laughs> Just get it out of the way. Sometimes I struggle to make them. I think this is this is easy. Ah. Then it's out of the way. Okay, I should be able to find that easily later. Blue Rose still hasn't duplicated. I'm getting worried. I mean, I'm happy that I have it, but this still I only have one. I thought I was closer to being done, but... Alright. What else did I order? Oh, right. Yep, yep. The yoga mats. going to do with these mats. Don't lie to me, there's room. Do, do I really have to... Hang on. Alright, but I need to get him colored. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna get him called black and put him on top of this, so it's just, like, a place to stand. I don't know if it's necessary, but... Um, for the rest of what I'm doing later... I've been working on this, so... This house is not a mess. I started it. But I have yet to kind of finish it. Someone has to have a pool. I haven't given anyone a pool yet, so... They're gonna get a pool. And then I made a... Like, implied fence with this. Has this always been here? I feel like I'm going crazy, like that sign looks different. <laughs> I'm just gonna... It could be one of those things that's like a small detail thing, because... I noticed that my plane was a different colour, but I wasn't sure. And then sure enough it was. In my other file, the fl the plane was blue. So even that is unique to your file. Uh, but both fake. I mean, even if I buy that statue, what am I gonna do with it? This one could come in handy. This is the only game where you'll see Dick in a Nintendo game. It's an interesting statue. Yeah, it's uh, it's 
representative of uh, man and its struggle. Granted, those statues are impressive. Just the detail it has for just being like a stone carving. Particularly around like muscle. How do you know it's fake? Um, well, this one in particular, he's holding a book. Uh, so... I don't, I don't think the original one's holding a book. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's easy. This one, because it's holding a book. This one, I mean, this one lights up, so it's fake. There's another one where it has a wristwatch. Another one where it has a necklace. Sorry. There's a guide that you can follow. Some of them, I, I, I can see it, because I know... A piece of art, but then others I have to look it up because it's just not obvious. It's neat, but it's the only thing that's missing is it doesn't teach you anything about the piece of art. The rest of the museum, when you donate stuff, it tells you something about what you're donating. So, they got a bit lazy with it. You didn't look at the hand, you were distracted by stuff. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I know, the face is very distracting. Because you would have your eyes up there, right? Of course, yeah. Oh, there it is. I went past it. Despite it being four times your height, always looking up, yeah. It's the respectful thing to do. I guess you kind of have a point. The thing, the thing that's at eye level, uh, isn't isn't the face. I remember in art class that just. There was always the students where their parents requested that uh, they don't study this sort of thing, so they would have to leave the room and go do other stuff. Because you learn about some of this. It's just, man. <laughs> and it's not like they were kids, they were teenagers. It's just, come on, man. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I should go to work first. If I really wanted to put time into it, I'd get like 50 of those statues and just do like a straight line all the way from the entry to the island all the way to the back and it's just, you know, those two statues either side and it's just this passageway that just leads up. And then my house at the end of it. And then everyone else like lives in the tent. <laughs> Where's the bottle?
Ah, here it is. Ah, bad luck. Okay, food recipe next. I love that I put a chicken in charge of the kitchen. Apparently I do. Star, have you heard of a game called Infinite Craft? That's something that I've spent a little too much time on the past few days. I did play a little bit on stream, but just off stream it's been eating up some of my time. It's just a browser game, but all the premise is pretty simple. You just have words, you drag them onto the screen, and then, you know, you get like water plus water. And then it combines it, it crafts it into something else. But I think some of them are like programmed in, but then at a certain point it starts using AI and you just get really weird unhinged shit. I forgot how I, I forgot how I got to it, but you can you can do something where you start with like a rock and then you kind of end up with America or something. I got the word drunk and then put it into Superman and it got Batman as the result. So su Batman is drunk plus Superman. It's, it's such a massive waste of time, but you, once you start, you can't stop doing it. One of the craziest ones was just anything that mixed with Snoop Dogg just became like a hybrid of Snoop. I don't know, I can't remember how I got to some of these, but just, yeah, Snoop Dogg. You can get to Snoop Dogg somehow. Check the exchange rate. Nope. Bad. The other thing is, if you if you're the first to find a particular combination, it'll tell you that you've made the first discovery. So there are so many times where it's just like, man, this is so unhinged, and yet I'm not the first to discover it. Somehow someone's come across this.
Oh. No, don't move away. Please don't leave us. No one is leaving, ever. The funny one was, the t I got the Titanic, and no matter what, somehow it always came back to the iceberg hitting a Titanic. Like, I put comedy and boat, and it gave me Titanic, and then tragedy and boat gave me the Titanic. Ice and boat gave me iceberg, <laughs> then gave me Titanic. Just somehow it kept coming back to, like, the Titanic somehow. Time waster. I spent more on it than I would like to admit. Oh crap, I didn't color one of them like an idiot. Wait, I got multiple. I'm oh, what? Hold on. Okay. I, ugh, what? Can can I get my customization kit and use it? I don't want to go back to halves. It's like another trip. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking about an iceberg hitting the Titanic. Okay. Wait. Oh, this one's already black. So hang on. This one. That's what we want. Minor detail, but I, I kind of like it. I'm pretty sure, because I got the warrior statue, I'm pretty sure I've already donated that to muse the museum, so if I have, I'll just put it outside the tea house, and then there's a bit of symmetry. if you get any unhinged combos. Assuming you go that far with it. Uh, can you... Yeah, okay, so I have donated it.
looking at this. I think this is fine now. All right. Uh, just to offer like a little bit of, yeah, like asymmetrical. That's fine. One has it, one doesn't. So I guess if I get another authentic one, it'd probably be good. Anyway. There you go. Fake versus real. Alright, uh, let me just throw a bunch of stuff away into storage. I gotta do Daily Island and the recipe that's washed up on the beach. Hang on, are you crafting? so much that it's combined now. I didn't realize afterwards, but I've given them a combined theme park and it's a ram and a goat. All right, let's see if Scoot's crafting. Recipes. I'm still holding out for the gold armor. Oh, that reminds me, I can make gold toilets. <laughs> and I'll probably put them inside the venue. Just replace everything with solid gold toilets. What about you? I just want to make sure I talk to some of them. I, I want to get more of their photos to hang up in the bar area. I think I might have to start gifting them. Alright, uh, let me finish the daily stuff and I'll continue with that. Still gotta do the fishing thing, but I'll work on it in a bit. I should probably clean this up, but I wanna get one more fly. Did I? Hang on. That was crafting. That was, uh, work. That was... Okay, so I haven't found the bottle on the beach. There you are. It's a recipe. Yep. Oh well. Alright, uh, do I have the Nook Miles even? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Um, four on Nook Miles. Uh. Okay. This, this might be weird, but I think 
I'm gonna... I guess it depends how much it gives me. I'll do the fishing thing. I think that might cover the cost. But I might just plant a, bu a bunch of trees and then scrap them immediately. Just to gain the Nook Miles. Alright, but this one's gonna be an easy one. I also gotta get a collectible made. Oh, it's just five fish in a row. Easy. Unspecified size. Cool. <laughs> I think by next week I'll have I'll have the uh, the flowers all cleaned up. I'm kind of approaching the end here. I have a pirate hat. Because now that he's actually wearing the pirate outfit. I don't think I have a tricorn. Because that's what I wanted. I wanted him to make... Make it look like he was a pirate clown. I don't think I have anything that's like a tricorn. I mean, that would be fitting of him, but no. I want my pirate clown. Oh, crap, I do. Wow. <laughs> I actually have a pirate hat. Okay, hang on. This is going to happen. Please wear it. I, it'll make me happy. It'll be like having Buggy the Clown. I'll be a little upset if he doesn't wear it. And just puts it somewhere in storage and ruins his interior decoration. We'll see what happens. He was hanging out here a minute ago. Hmm. Not sure where he went. I'll run into him eventually.
me look in the middle of town. Where is he? He was here. <laughs> Did he go home? No. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I actually wanted to see you, so come on over. Oh, but can I gift him something while he's visiting? Crap. <laughs> I might not be able to give him anything. Combat helmet. Oh, that's cool. I've never found this one before. I like that hat. Another hat, huh? Please be higher. It's gotta be higher. There we go, good. Ah, uh, I can't give him anything while he's visiting. That's disheartening. I need to gift you a hat so that you can become a pirate clown. <laughs> now I gotta, I gotta go find them again. Okay, no, here he is. He's home. He's home. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot I made his house this. Presents. Please wear it. Yes. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Didn't have to give me anything. I have my buggy, buggy the pirate. I'm happy. That's great. Hopefully he stays that way. Back to what I was doing. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this stall. But it's set up. Here, there's like a place where you get show bags, which is just bags of goodies. That might be a simple one to do. 
just wrap some stuff up. Or, I think there's a shopping bag item. I'll take a look. I don't know if that's like a universal thing, just bags full of candy and just random junk. They're so expensive, they're not really worth what they contain. But it's the novelty of it. Sometimes they have, like, cool little nerdy things inside of them. And that's what makes it worth it. But the candy in them, it's not worth it. It's like a few dollars worth of candy and then the bag is like 16, 20 dollars. <laughs> I have enough to do the island, I guess. Plant a fruit tree, cut a tree down, sell fruit. Okay. Oh, that's all gonna be on the island. I'll go do that. I need to get some nook miles now. I bought a lot of, uh... Like these light arc things. So then I can make the food trucks look nice. might need... How would I be able to play music here? I guess if I hide, like, a... Hmm. I could probably put something here for music. I think the easiest one to do would be the bamboo speaker. So broke. I don't get seasick, but granted I have felt some of the symptoms of it. Like a, a mild headache. But definitely not as bad as some people get. Let me just get the recipe and then I'll be on my way back. I don't really have anything else I want from this. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Welcome. Ah, uh, wait. Where's my bottle? Am I blind? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, okay. I'm just blind. From the moment that I looked away, I think I just ran past it. 
Ah, I think I don't have it, but it's okay. I'm still after the golden armor. You know what? I may as well get some of these vines because I've been using them lately. Oh wait, hold on. No, because I gotta do the Nookmar thing quickly. But after this, I'm gonna get to decorating the house. There you go. I love that it counts on the island. Yeah, for a bit. I'm just chilling, unwinding from my week. Preparing for the heat wave that's coming in over the weekend. How's it going, Mr. Sam? Water heat wave is going to be an average of 36 here next week. I don't know if it's going to happen over there, but... 36 Celsius for those of you playing at home, not Fahrenheit. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all 36, then there's like a bit of a break, and then Saturday, Sunday, it goes back to 30 and 36. Which I think converts to like 100 Fahrenheit, if I'm not mistaken. Around that. Thirty-one max. How sad. I mean, that's comfortable. That's like nice weather. But go to the beach and stuff if you want. Thirty-six is where it starts to get to the point where things could light on fire. <laughs> Wait, why are you gonna be dressed like a nun? <laughs> or is that just? what you usually have to do. Okay, anyway. I can get back to what I was doing now. Oh, I need to give uh, CJ the fish. Uh, what haven't I made a model of? Oh, yeah, we'll do the shark. It's a good one. My food truck is, is done. I think I might add just something that plays music. I might make like a bamboo speaker and slot it in here so then there's music in the area. Oh, you have to dress conservatively, gotcha. Okay, it's not literally a nun. Do I have the wooden music box? I, Yeah, I think I do. I have the shell one as well. Because I put it in Audie's house. But, you know, this is an area where there's food trucks. <laughs> I 
in your eyes, you do feel like a nun. Is it a co-ed skull or is it? So that's the only that's the only way you would feel like a nun if it's not co-ed. Co-ed? Ah, that's fine. Could be worse. Okay, uh, I hope I'm right, but I'm pretty sure it's clay, iron, and bamboo. Oh, thanks for the follow, Dom. How's it going? I can't imagine being that covered in a country like Australia. What, like a nun? I mean, some schools do do that. The, the school that I went to, it's like... You wouldn't pick it, but it had, it had like a pretty formal uniform. And if you talk to... I guess if you know the area... You'd, you'd be shocked. It's like, really? That school had a formal uniform? Grey pants and, like, a button-up shirt. That uniform sucked in summer, man. Uh, just not great. And you had to wear dress shoes. Ugh. Okay, what music am I playing here? Something that feels like ramen place. I mean, this is this is a good one, but I've used it already. This is not bad. There we go. All right, food truck's done. Both of them. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna work on... Eventually I do have to do something here. I'll figure it out. I kind of have a couple of ideas, but I'm leaving it sort of till last. I'm gonna work on this. I need to figure out what I'm doing. So I'll do some outdoor seating. And then this strip here. I mean, it'll either be like a flower arrangement or I don't know. Like I'll, I'll figure it out. But then I'm gonna decorate the actual house, so. At the very least, someone has to have a pool, and I think this is probably the right house to do it. Okay. Let me go see what furniture I have, and then... An idea might pop into my head. You missed my uniform? Don't worry. <laughs> it's just... Formal pants, that's it. And slacks. Just shoes that were too fancy. Was that a public school? Yes, it was a public school. It was a public school that I think tried to be too fancy for what it was. Given the demographic of, uh... Of people that went to that school. Alright, I'm gonna see what I have. Okay, this might be nice. We'll see what we can do with this. Uh, maybe? I 
I mean, th that does kind of have an imperial look to it. I'm not sure. This one is very useful. We could do something nice with this. Maybe that. Um, outdoor kitchen, maybe. I'll just pull out a bunch of stuff that I think I might be able to use to do something. This was not the school with the principal chub, right? Principal chub. <laughs> Reading that out loud, it just people. Some people that didn't hear that story are gonna be like, "What, Principal Chubb? No, that was a uh, primary school slash elementary school. This I'm talking about high school here. Yeah. Principal Chubb. I suppose that's all we can refer to her as, since I'm not gonna say what her name was. But I suppose for the context, <laughs> people that may not have heard the story. In elementary school, I had a principal that, it was just a person that I'm sure loves children in practice, right? But can't handle them when they're being children, right? So she had this propensity to ban things that she got annoyed at. So, there was this dumb commercial. I don't even rem remember the commercial. That's how silly it is, right? There's a, there's a commercial that aired where it was for a security company. And they were called Chubb Security. With two Bs. So, kids being kids, I don't know, for some reason we found that commercial funny. So, a bunch of us were going around saying, Chubbalam, Chubbalam, Chubbalam. Over and over again. And it kind of spread like wildfire around the school. So she got an assembly organized and said that the word was banned. And that's the kind of principle she was. Just anything that annoyed her in the slightest in terms of kids being kids. She would just outright ban it or just, I don't know. But that's why Principal Chubb. <laughs> I might... Take this one out as well and see if it can be customized. There are a couple things she banned, which was, you know, rightfully so, like Pokemon cards, because kids used to fight over them. But then there's other things that was just simple and innocent, where, you know, a, a version of Tag where it was group Tag, it was kind of like a survival game, right? One person would start as being it, and then... The, mo the moment they tagged someone, that person would then join the IT team. So the whole thing was just try and survive. And you would do like a gesture to show whether or not you were IT. It was like an honor system. So she found that annoying because we were kind of being loud outside her office. Generally speaking, the grand finale took place outside her office. So she banned it and she cited that um, she didn't want to encourage gang mentality. I was six at the time. So, yeah. Uh, Principal Chubb, ladies and gentlemen. It's a playground, I know. When it comes to kids just doing things like that, it's just, they get, they'll get bored, they'll get bored of it. They will get bored of it. You just let the, you just let it run its course and eventually they move on to something else. You would have told her parents that she's racist. I mean... I don't remember her much, but maybe. Let, let me put it this way. It was in a suburb where the majority of people that lived there were, like, refugee immigrants. So, that's where I grew up. So, it could have been that, but I don't know. 
There's no way to prove it. I don't think anyone would have played that card anyway. I love that score. It's just... The, the people that I didn't get along with, honestly, were the, uh, quote, Aussies. I don't know. I guess back then, because the way I spoke, uh, it's not like how it is now, where you wouldn't be able to pick it. But, uh, I guess I would have had- I spoke quicker and probably would have had an accent. Like, I can't remember it. But I had to take, uh, classes to kind of correct the way I spoke. Okay, I like that. Looks good. And again, implied fencing. I might do some flower arrangement. I don't know. I'm winging it here. I don't have a plan. <laughs> um. Okay, okay, okay. Do that, do that. Uh -huh. This item is so good, by the way. Like, it, the use you can get out of it. I'm just going to put another one here. I think if I make the hat house match to some degree, it'll, it'll look good. Oh, hold on. This can be customized to give it color. The umbrella table would look nice. I like that table. The only thing... Visually, it's amazing. The only thing that I dislike about it... It's just the way you have to arrange the chairs, it has to be like this, because otherwise it doesn't align. Because this is by- it's, uh, by two. So you can't- it just looks awkward when you put chairs along this way. That's the only thing I dislike about it. I don't know, maybe I didn't arrange it properly, but it, it just looked awkward. That's the one thing that I don't like about it. Otherwise, it's it's a great table. It would look good. Um, I'm gonna go to halves and see what the options are for this. Sorry, I might be like back and forth between halv quite a bit. Because there's a few nice colored walls. I'm going to see what I can do with it. The other thing about it is you can't place something on the table, so it always has to be the coffee and the book, which... It would have been nice if they let you customize that as well. Had a few choices. Oh... Hmm. What's wrong with coffee and a book? Nothing. It's just when you use that table multiple times, it looks a bit repetitive when all of them have that same coffee and book. Particularly when there's two of them next to each other. I mean... 
one thing I could do is is just abandon the use of it and only make that table. Oh no, but see, Alice is using it. Yeah. Spin the table. I have. Hmm. It is struggling to load my island sometimes. So I haven't quite a hundred percent figured out what to do here. I know that this is going to have the fruit trees like this and it's a stall, but anyway. Let me work on this a bit more. Um I wonder if this Zen wall can be customized to be yellow as well. If it can, then we got something here. Your market area kills the switch. I think for me right now it's because I just have flowers everywhere. <laughs> so, it's not liking that. For now. Oh. That's a shame that you can't make it. But, I mean, it is the correct color. Oh, jeez. I mean, let's see how it looks. One wrong one. Hang on, I need to redo this now. I guess if I put two of them next to each other, it wouldn't look too bad. Yeah, it just doesn't look right. I think I can have that here in the front, but I... I think this has to be two of these. Which is fine, I got two of them. I just have to go back to halves now. I could stick with the one and let the hedge go all the way to the edge. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, I need to go get a hedge. I've, I've got it. It's gonna be... Garmin Lenten here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the one. I just gotta get another hedge fence. No, keep saying toasty. I like how you say toasty.
Yeah, and the whole thing with that principle, just to go back to it, <laughs> it was, it certainly wasn't something where it was just, um, like, maybe my group of students, well, the group of students I was in was just troublemakers. It wasn't that at all, because all my brothers experienced that principle, and they had the exact same thing with her. It's just, that's just how she was. Yeah, Principal Chubb. Aren't I a lot older than my brothers? Not all of them. Um, one's just two years younger than me and the others are like 10 and 12 years younger. Um, I'll probably change that color, but that looks good there. She was around for all of them, yep. So, she became principal when about halfway through my elementary primary school years. She wasn't there for the whole time. But I remember when she took over, there were quite a few teachers that did not like the fact that she was taken over. And a lot of them ended up leaving. But now that I think about it, probably a red flag. <laughs> I'll... It's okay. D -d -d <laughs> Keep doing the wrong thing. I mean, I appreciate that it's giving me stuff, but it, it is a bit of a distraction. And I'm trying to decorate. I can't be bothered. That's going to take ages to go for. I have to wait. Okay. This is the thing that I'm kind of questioning, but we'll see. There it is. Yeah, so, I mean, this this would look nice. It's just... It just looks... It just looks awkward. There's just too much of a space. Look at how much horizontal distance it takes up. That's the problem with it. have recording tomorrow. Oh. This is the one thing that I dislike about it. The, on the only thing I could do, I guess, is just say, well, what if I just go one chair on it? That's the only way this would be fine, is if I just decide to go, okay, well, one chair. a chapter to your family and only laughed once, so that's an improvement.
what's the trick? What's the secret to reading smart without laughing? Yeah, okay. I mean... There we go. I'm content with this. And then that leaves more room for stuff here. Or center align it. read these books. Smart books? Smart books? Never. Not my thing. I've said this before, if I'm gonna read something, I may- I should learn. If I'm gonna consume something fictional, it's- I like- I prefer it in the visual form. That's just me. It's okay. Oh. This might look okay. I mean, I want to make this a functional house, so... Maybe... Put this away. Hey, Sandbag, how's it going? Wait, trust you, it's an educate. It's quite an education, even with experience. They're so awkward. I mean... Yeah? <laughs> I can imagine so. Nah, that looks bad. I'll get a better one. Alright, this is coming along nicely. I might go to halves and see if I can customize this kitchen for a different color. Um, this I should just be able to customize myself. I'll make it match the umbrella. Yeah, okay. This... The flowers were nice. I'm gonna put them back. I'll probably arrange something down the side. But I'll put something else here instead, so... It goes kind of through here. I'll figure it out, but I'll, I'll arrange some flowers going this way. I'll do something. <laughs> Trust the process. The flower bed? Uh, yeah. There is the flower bed item. That could work. I'd have to I'd have to grind nook miles though to get it. Maybe mixing one in amongst the other stuff. I don't know. I'll figure it out. What else was it? I was gonna grab something. I'm a bit scatterbrained right now. All right, clothesline. gonna make the uh, the other one. The other one's better. Put that away. Put that away. Uh, maybe keep it. Maybe keep it. Maybe keep it. I'm just thinking of stuff that I might use. Keep hedges. Pretty sure it's made out of just this. Ugh, 
damn it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. I read the word pet and I was like, oh, is this the pet house, dog house? No. Oh well. Alright, hold on a sec. My headset's complaining. Yeah, they came up with that name on their own. I did not tell them to call me that. Oh, yeah, do this. I just had to swap the batteries real quick. It's all good. Clothesline? Hmm. What am I missing for the clothesline? That's probably a different wood. There it is. Uh, oh, it's just tree branches. Wow. That's a pretty good item for just being tree branches. Let me have a look if there's anything else. Hmm, not really. Yeah, nothing that I can see that I would want to bring out. I wish I could place mats outside. It's a bit strange that you can't. Yoga mat, I think, is the only one that you can. Yeah, okay, we're at food now. should be able to make it. You hate the squishy sound of all self-made paving. I didn't notice it until until someone pointed it out. I was blissfully unaware. And now it's just something where... Oh, man. One of those things that once you notice it, you can't unnotice it. That was you. I don't think it was you. Someone else mentioned that before you. But they said that it was satisfying. Like, satisfying? What does it sound like? It's like mud. Hang on. I think I've used that color, actually. Go with that. Okay, I gotta go to... Oh wait, no. The bed I can also customize. But I do have to go to halves again. What am I customizing even? Close line, full side bed. Oh. Large magazine rack, right? full side, inflatable ready, guarding the lantern. There's something I was going to halves for. The kitchen. Okay. Just making sure. That and where is the sunflower pattern? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do the the show bag idea.
I think I only have one. But I'll order some more, and that'll that's what this this stall will be here. A place to get show bags. Yeah, cool. I'll get a bunch of them. I think I might have some already. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll just order them. I'll probably do it through uh, Happy Home. But I at least bought one, so I just have to order them. I'll order them through Happy Home, so I'm not wasting my normal money. Since I'm going to halves anyway. Oh, I guess it, it depends if I can even get it through there. Alright, I'll go have a look. I'll go check that out first, and I'll go customize the outdoor kitchen. It'd be cool if you could associate a soundscape with a pattern. So then when you use it, it plays a sound. Because they already have soundscapes. Then you could control, like, what sound the pattern makes when you touch it on the ground. Alright, give me a minute. Right, it's three, three, three. Just making sure. Uh, I guess if I just look for bag, it should come up, right? Yep, that's that's what we want. We'll get a few of them, and then they can be uh, show bags. I don't know if show bags are like a universal thing. But whenever you go to, like, a carnival or, like, an event here, they have a stall that sells these bags that just have predominantly candy in them, but sometimes they'll have random little pieces of, um, memorabilia or, like, a toy or just something nerdy. So that's what gets you to get them. Or like, a hat. No wait, we're going to halves. Halves first. But they're always just never worth it. <laughs> they're so expensive. I think they're probably not as predominant now because I imagine a lot of them have things that you can probably pick up on the internet pretty cheap. It's almost as bad as drop shipping. It's just that they buy a bunch of a bunch of things cheap, package them in a in a bag, and then make a bunch of money off it. Okay, I have enough for tomorrow's island. <laughs> Playable third ring, clothesline, where is it? Outdoor kitchen. Yeah, that'll prob because the tab the table I have is black, right? And same with the seating. So I do like that this one has uh it's between the red and the black one. Cause the colours of the flowers and all that stuff around there is like red. Yellow would have been good. Eh, 
Yeah. Look out this one. While I'm here. I just want to see if there's anything else I can use. Someone should have a lawnmower. Uh, I'm just thinking because I got like a, a spot there that I can put something. Like a one by one spot. Next to the kitchen. Sorry, this is like a minute. All right, I have the birdhouse. Never mind. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Speaking of birdhouse, so I don't think I customized it. That bird, bird cage. Which bird? I mean... I like this bird, but... With this cage. Strawberry canvas. Uh, I'm doing all right. Just kicking back after a busy week. It's pretty warm here. How about yourself? That reminds me. I just finished my my drink. It's still uh cold. Hey, Nikta, how's it going? Stressful morning came to chill. Ah, sorry to hear. Yeah, just... I guess watch me decorate and hopefully it'll help. Oh, cool. Kitchen. Yeah, okay. I mean, this feels like it goes together. Oh, hold on. Side bed. I might do this instead. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. Oh, but I guess if I put this here, it's. You, like, how does one get- ah, uh, okay. Never mind. Hang on. There's a layout I can- I can use. There'll be a way to do this, surely. Maybe... 
Molly, have me on chill while having breakfast. UK time, gotta do some errands. How am I? I am doing okay. Just had a bit of a busy week, so I am also chilling out. Just, uh, decorating the villager house. Slowly making my way to getting the last of uh, the stuff that I want done on my island. What's for breakfast? It's time I open the, the conversation on food. It always happens here. Inevitably, it goes down that path. I'm sorry, I have to go back to halves again. I know this might be driving people insane. But... Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of miss it in New Leaf, where you could just walk over there and it was pretty easy. I know they had to make Harv's Island useful, but... It would be nice if they started off at Harv's Island and then you could buy them a building, so then they would be in your town. The decorating thing is just the most useful thing about Harv's Island right now. Oh, tea and toast, cool. How do you make your toast? Yeah, I've been getting into my tea a lot. I went from tea bags to infusing proper, like, loose leaf stuff. I even have a kettle now that you can control the temperature, so if you need tea to be at a certain temperature, with particular temperature water, that allows you to do it. I'll go with this. I mean, if you would have told me that 10 years ago, well, to me 10 years ago that I'd be making tea properly and having things like cheese, fancy cheese, I wouldn't believe it. Am I turning into a tea snob? I mean, it would be on point with people from Melbourne. Already, already a bit of a coffee snob. What do I consider fancy cheese? Um, well, okay. The cheeses I had growing up were just whatever the supermarket had. With the exception of feta. I know fetas can be fancy, and it is fancy to some. But we used to live near a factory that made it, and so we would get it cheap. But anything else, like, I mean, I, I, I hadn't had something like brie or, uh, camembert or, like, even a cheddar that has stuff mixed into it. I just never did that kind of stuff until the price of potato chips started skyrocketing. And, uh, I guess on stream, I can't even remember how it came up, but people were talking about charcuterie boards and I was like, oh, I've never really had one. And then I made one. And I have kept making them since. There we go. There's nothing wrong with being a coffee snob. It's just... You like what you like, right? And I did, I did try Starbucks. I gave it the old, the old, uh, go. I tried it. I tried the whole pumpkin spice thing as well that Americans keep telling me to try. I tried it. And I'll say this, it's when a, a place that is marketed as a coffee place has people buying things that isn't coffee, there's something wrong. The majority of the people buying stuff at Starbucks are getting, like, the ice sugary drinks. 
Which at that point, I don't know, why even have coffee? You're just hiding the coffee flavor. Do I have Vegemite on my test? I'm not a fan of Vegemite. Um... I guess my background, uh, grew up with a very Central American diet. Because my family immigrated from there. So... My breakfast was like a lot of bean-related foods. I mean, cereal from time to time, and maybe like sandwiches, but yeah. That's the kind of food I was eating as a kid. Like, I don't lo I've, I've tried Vegemite, and it's- I, I get it, but it's not the greatest thing for me. However, I did have Vegemite steak sauce once. Someone made a steak sauce that had Vegemite in it, and that- that was amazing. When it's used to make better food, it's- it's kinda cool. Having a look what else I can get out here. Yeah. Maybe Vegemite is undercover steak sauce all along. I mean, I think it's it's just it's a it can be used as a flavor enhancer. I think honestly that's where it's best used. I mean, spreading it on toast with butter, I get it. It, it works. But it's just yeah, not for me. I think the reason it has its infamy is just... Typically when people try it, they just treat it like it's peanut butter, and so they just put way too much of it on, and obviously they have a bad time, because it's, it's just basically salt at that point. So... I mean, look, Australia is responsible for much better things than Vegemite. If you want to try Australian things, I can give you a list of things that you should try. Does anyone have hot chocolate powder on their toast? Uh, no. However, in Australia we do something that is a similar idea. Uh, it's called fairy bread, and this is something that I've talked about where you should try and experience it. So, what this is, right? You get some white bread, the thicker the better. And then you get some margarine. For those that don't know what margarine is, it's vegetable shortening, typically made out of uh, canola oil, the sunflower. Right? So you, you take that, you spread it pretty liberally, like... Like you would with peanut butter, but not as thick, right? So, again, not heating the bread up, just a plain piece of bread, white bread. Spread margarine on it. It's a, it has to be a little bit thick. And then you get sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, and you just douse the bread in that. Completely cover it. So it's like this rainbow pattern of sprinkles on your white bread. And then you cut it into triangles and you eat it. What ends up happening is the sprinkles kind of fuses with the margarine and it makes like a makeshift icing. And it's delicious. And we do that... When you're in school, like as a kid, if there's a birthday, they get kids to make fairy bread because it's colorful and nice and... Instead of making someone a cake, you just get like a loaf of bread, a loaf of white bread and some sprinkles and it's just so easy to do. Very low effort, it's fun and it tastes great. Highly recommend it, even as an adult, try it. Every person... I've told this about, they've- and tried it, they say it's magical. Yeah, it's cheaper and easier to make than cake. Um, it's one of those things that's just- it's something that's really good tasting that has come out of, like, trying to save money, you know? Um... And if that hasn't sold it, people do, like, fairy bread cakes. So they take this concept and apply it to cakes, but... Um... 
I'll get a picture so you can see. All right. But that is that is one thing that uh. Don't worry about your Vegemite. Vegemite is a meme at this point. Try fairy bread. Without without question. There you go. It looks like that. Very simple. So, try it. <laughs> it just depends how hard margarine is to get, because I know it's not a universal thing. Just don't use butter. But it's not the same with butter. You might think that, oh, butter will work. It doesn't. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I need to see how much Nook Miles I need to get, because I'm going to get a flower bed. So that's, that's one Australian thing that I'll recommend. The other big one is Tim Tams, uh, but that one a lot of people know of. Uh, Tim Tams, right? If you don't know what they are, they're... See, this is, this is the thing sometimes, is how to explain something. So to Americans, it's a cookie. To Brits, it's a biscuit, okay? So, Americans, it's a cookie. Brits, it's a, it's a biscuit. And they're just coated, they had, they're coated in chocolate and they're sandwiched with some other filling. Sometimes chocolate, but they are amazing. They're probably one of our best things to have. It's absolutely a biscuit. I will call it a biscuit. It's called, it's called a biscuit here. But this is the thing about the stream is like, it's a pretty even split between Americans and Europeans. So I have to like, I have to over explain stuff a lot. gotten better at it. Oh, it's only 2,000 Nook Miles. Alright, cool. Um, I'm gonna grind the Nook Miles for that. Chocolate sandwich biscuit, kind of like Penguin. I believe Penguin's pretty similar. But Tim Tam's, like, here, we have multiple, multiple flavors and varieties. Yeah. Okay, let me get the Nook Mile thing. I think a nice, easy one for me to do, just plant a bunch of trees, because I haven't done that. Yeah. Well, that's good that you know American terms, but I guess just to be safe as well, because later on... If someone's watching the VOD later on YouTube, it also helps. It's just... Maybe I don't have to explain things as much as I think I do. <laughs> I mean, Peko's house, was, ha, Peko's house was already nice, but I don't know. Oh wait, oh, I've already talked to her apparently. But just making her on a tea house, it's great. Ever tried apple? That's one weird thing you like to eat on bread sometimes. I haven't tried an apple sandwich, but I um, had a co-worker that would have apple and cheese sandwiches. So... Not, not too strange. I, c I can understand it. Because a really bizarre thing is if you close your eyes and you don't smell, and someone gives you a slice of apple and a slice of onion, it's c from a texture point of view, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. A little, little weird one for ya. I need to run into someone. Pretty island, thank you. Yeah, it's taken a while to get to this point. 
I'm hoping to be done with it in the next couple of weeks. I'm just going around giving every villager's house, like, a look. I'm down to the last few houses, but... Who haven't I talked to today? Putting apple in a sandwich seems like too much effort to you. You'd rather just eat the apple. Yeah, that's fair enough. I need to find someone I haven't talked to today. Have I talked to you? But I mean, he ate some strange things. There was another one he was telling me about that he didn't eat personally, but it was a thing in the town he grew up. So they would get uh, a packet of crisps or potato chips, you see? <laughs> I'm doing it again. Crisps or potato chips. And they'd be the chicken flavored ones. So it's like artificial chicken flavoring. They would open the bag and crush all the potato chips on the inside. So then they would effectively become just tiny. Very crushed. And then they would put a bit of lemon juice in it and mix it. And then eat it with a fork. I don't know. But I can't. I can't vouch for that one. All right. I'm gonna buy some trees, plant them, and scrap them, and get some enough miles that way. The one I can vouch for is um, a friend that told, told me to put a bag of potato chips in the freezer and then let them sit there for a while and then eat them fresh out of the freezer. You would think that they would get all weird, but they don't. They just kind of become cold and nice. That one, as weird as it might sound, it, it's it's legit, so. I'm sure Kat, if you're watching this later, <laughs> you'll be like, that's me! Yeah, yeah, it was you. Where are the trees? Yeah, I suppose lemon and chicken crisps, that makes sense, but the crushing part, that's the thing that I, I don't get. Like, why do you crush them? You used to love Walker's chicken crisps when you were a kid, but can't stand them. Maybe adding lemon will help. I think if you just take the potato chips slash crisps and put lemon juice in them and shake it, it'll probably be nice. The part where you crush them, I don't know, man. <laughs> Into something that you eat with a fork. At that point, it's like, why do I even have them that way? But uh, putting a bag of potato chips in the freezer and then eating them like hours later, it's, it's pretty good. All right, these are here just for me to... Three knock miles. I think I have to plant like 10 or something. I'm gonna- I'm gonna trash them immediately. Let me see what the next milestone is. How funny is that though, like... I've been playing this for... months. And before today, I had only planted four trees total. It's because the money trees... they give you all the trees you need, like... There's no need to plant trees, you get money trees. I'll buy that flower bed and then I'll 
I'll start working on the the house. The last time I talked about the potato chips with the, the lemon juice, it was a completely opposite reaction. <laughs> it's just like, ew, why would you do that? And now it's just, I've opened eyes, just like, wow, you know what? That's a great idea. Oh wait, I have a, a bin here. Okay. Alright, another good one for food. This is something that you can do. Uh, but it's kind of become a staple in Melbourne and Sydney. So, I'm sure the Brits will understand me. Maybe not so much the Americans, but... You go to a kebab shop. You go to a kebab shop, right? I think in America they're called shawarma places. But anyway, you go to one, you get yourself some chips or fries. So I'm talking about fries here. And some meat, preferably lamb. Then you put the meat on top of the fries and then you get them to drizzle like whatever sauces you want on top of it. Here it's typically the garlic or the chili. And they do it in a crosshatch pattern. Then you put cheese on top, and you eat it with a fork. It's amazing. It's a late night thing here. I'm going to assume that the next milestone's 20, so I'm just gonna get another 10. goes well the more late night it is. We used to have lays in Australia, but then they, they vanished. I don't know if Smith's is owned by lays, but that's our version of it. Don't know about there, but kebabs are something you get when you're drunk at 2am. That's pretty much the origin of it. It was like an evolution of the drunk 2am kebab. So the, the official name for it is an HSP. It's called a halal snack pack, which... <laughs> it's far from a snack. But it is... it is magical. And it's something that... There's debate about which city it originated in, whether it's Sydney or Melbourne, but... Um... It's become a staple. I'll, I'll get- I'll get a picture to... to illustrate it. Yep, yeah, okay. That's a good- that's a good picture. But, you know, you can just make one by just getting the components of it. So let me, let me get a picture. Picture's worth a thousand words. And it doesn't, you can get it with whatever meat you want. But typically the lamb one is the way to go. They look like that. So a bed of chips slash fries, whatever you want to call them. Then the meat that you get from a kebab place on top, and then a drizzle of whatever sauces you want, but the go-to is garlic and chili, and then cheese in the mix, and you eat that with a fork. And it is amazing.
nachos. I mean, I think the closest thing would be like poutine. You know how Canadians have poutine? It's very similar to that. Except it's with kebab meat. Not to, like, try and compare it, but... It's a pretty similar concept. Okay, I need to get another 10 more. But yeah, it's just, it's very easy to do. It's just, you go to a kebab place and just... Request that combination. Smith was a British brand, but now it's owned by PepsiCo. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, the brand that I usually get is just Kettle or Red Rock Deli, which they're Kettle Cook Chips, and they have just good flavors. My favorite is uh, it's just Kettle Cook Chips that it's like a jalapeno and chili salt. It's great. They're just spicy. But they do other ones. They do like a good honey soy chicken. Uh, they do like a good cracked pepper and lime. They do a salt and vinegar as well, but it's like balsamic. So it's a bit different than your standard one. Trees. It's just easy nook miles, and yeah, it can be done with it. All right, another ten trees. You have Smith Salt and Shake. They're just plain crisp that come with a sachet of salt that you put in and shake. You eat them without the salt, though, huh? Never heard of that. But if you want something good to shake... Okay, particularly you Brits out there, um, get yourself chicken salt from Australia and put them on your chips when you get fish and chips. I'm telling you. It'll level up the fish and chips. Because here, we do fish and chips as well, but on chips, we put chicken salt on them. The chicken salt is just... It, it elevates it. It's... Just this yellow, yellow seasoning. It makes your your chips just this yellow color. And I guess it's just flavors associated with chicken. It's not that it's like made out of chicken stock or whatever. It's like a vegan salt, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty, pretty damn good. Just get it, put it on your fish and chips, trust me. Oh crap, I only bought one. Now I gotta do it this way, otherwise I'll end up with extras. Three. That's four. And that's five. Okay, now... There we go. Okay, this is all I'll need to plant, and then I can be done with it. But also chicken salt you can use on uh, popcorn, or just to add more flavor to some potato chips slash crisps. Oops. Then I never have to plant trees again. I'm surprised it lets me do this.
please be worth at least a thousand. Nice. Alright, cool. I can stop now. I can order the flower bed and uh, I'll have enough for the island tomorrow. If you do end up trying any other stuff that uh, I'm talking about tonight, let me know. But trust me, I won't steer you wrong when it comes to food. Unless you genuinely don't like some of the ingredients that I'm talking about, you can't go wrong. on the house now. I might not play Wario tonight as well because <laughs> my voice isn't feeling a hundred percent. Like, I, I don't know if something's coming on or I just may have uh, done too much talking today. house is it? I'm trying to remember. I think it's Melba's. Pretty sure it is. I mean, if I got this wrong, well, it's just... <laughs> it's fine. I'm pretty sure it's Melba's house. the exterior. Okay, so, I mean, I think this probably looks the best, but go... Yeah, like that. Because we have that, um, that wall. Next to it. Uh, let me think on door. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Hmm. It's between this one and this. Not this one. This one. Kind of leaning a little more towards the wood one. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, do I want anything on the front? Maybe that. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, that wasn't a way you could do this. Ah. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Hang on, what color? Yeah, I'll go with that. That's fine. Hey. Oh, I undid it. Sorry, I know I'm being very clunky right now. Alright. 
Let's see what I can do. I mean, this house is already kind of nice looking already, but... I'll modify it. I'll try and... Make it look as nice as possible. Okay, I'm not going to use windows in this one. Actually, I'll mess around with lighting later. Okay. I might... <laughs> I might place... Hang on. Just so we're not sitting in silence, I might place the music thing back. Alright, there we go. This is something you can listen to on loop. Okay, so the colors outside are kind of like this, right? So I'm going to try and go for that vibe. Um, this... Okay. Actually, do that. Go on. I'll work with that. <laughs> it's good music, isn't it? This is going to be the kitchen, what I'm going to do. Let me just start planning that out. Go with this one. Uh, we need... That. Maybe this. I'll just start pulling out some items that I think I'll use. I might not use all of them. Where are the fridges? There's the fridge. That's what I wanted. Should go there. I might get rid of the stickers. That's better. Okay. Slightly off. Yep, there we go. Um, do this. Swap this out. I kind of wish I could just get the sink without the mess. I don't think Melba's, like, a mess. Just seems out of the character. I mean, there's a utility sink, but it doesn't really look that great. I have used this one before, but I, I feel like I overuse it. It's a nice one. Right, I'm just gonna have to go with this one. That's fine. Oh. 
crack. Oh. Okay. Gotta go. Alright, no worries, Molly. Thanks for uh, popping in and also for the follow. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, I'm just thinking. Okay, like I always say, it's just... Wouldn't be Australian if it, there wasn't an air conditioning unit somewhere. I will probably keep the original flooring. We're just gonna fancy it up a little. I'll do this. It's tough to do. It's getting there. Uh, I need... Where is it? This thing. They don't have a light blue, so let's go with that. I might make it match the wood. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I'm gonna make this, like, real. This is what I would do. Where are they? And now I have it. This. <laughs> this is where I would put my keys. <laughs> Something like this. Alright. That looks good. Let me keep customizing. Blue. Blue. Microwave, 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 microwave.
put a little vine lamp on top here. I'm just thinking about lighting. That's better. Okay. Alright, I mean, so far so good, I think. Thoughts? <laughs> Sometimes I get just too into this and don't... I forget that I'm like, oh wait, there's a chat. I need to... Engage a bit. Melba's colors are like that, if I recall correctly. Alright, now all I have to do... Oh, but this is a kitchen mat. Just seeing what options I have. Too big. Four by four. Eh, probably not going to look good. I want something there. That might work. Okay, uh, what kind of sofas do I want to add? I might do this. Wait, what's going on? That. Another one that looks like that, but it's yeah, that one. There we go. That's better. Uh, for this one, I have to go for more ceiling decor. I can't mount anything to these walls. Because I've got this in the way. But it should be okay. Alright, uh... use this as like a little mini table.
Getting there. Yeah, I mean, good way to do that. Oh, it's still playing. Cool. <laughs> I don't have to undo it. All right. There's still a bit of space left. Okay, now a place to actually sit and eat. as well. Uh, what have we got? How does this look? Eh. What about this? That, that's good. my decorating here. <laughs> okay. Uh... I know there's no place to sleep, but not all the villagers have a place where they sleep. If I really wanted to, I could put like a hammock or something. But it's fine. I mean, they have a pet bird, so let's just put the bird house here. That one will do. Or maybe here. Hang on. I like this idea better. That's better. I just have to make sure that I can walk through all of this. better. I don't think I can put anything next to there. Okay, uh, wall stuff now. I mean, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna be too original. I know I, I do this a lot, but I like how this ends up looking. stuff around. I 
should probably do more of this art. It's a shame that it doesn't keep the same frame, but it is it is good art. Is that clipping into it? I hope not. <laughs> okay, it is it is clipping into it. Ah, it's okay. have we got? I feel like there should be more on the walls. I don't know. Just in terms of options. Oh, but see, that's more of a living roomy thing. It does eat up a big area. Okay, maybe do this. to be a good functional kitchen switches and one at the entry as well intercom just yeah functionality uh what else can i do i mean maybe i could just do that just yeah have a way to clean Okay, lighting. What do we do for lighting? Well, outside of lighting. Maybe here. Yeah, there you go. That looks nice. Okay. Mm, it's not quite the same blue. Move it back one. I might very well have to go with that. Sorry, I'm just figuring this out. <laughs> I do like the bird, but it's a little out of place. Oh, no, that works. There we go. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. Hang 
there's another one. What does this one look? Eh. Trying to get something that matches the colors. It's honestly not bad. Subtle texture. Okay, now the mess with this. Kind of the look I'm trying to go for. The focus being, you know, this room here. So it's like mixing warm light with cool light, so then it kind of has this nice gradient effect to it. I think I need more lighting here. I'm just thinking of an easy way to kind of get that effect. Oops. I mean, without, like, literally placing one of these here. That cube light gives so much light. What if I just stuck to cube lights? I know I, I overuse them, but they're just... Look at how much light they offer. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm doing cube light. It's easy to do neutral lighting that way. Hey, Colin, how's it going? All right. Look at that. I think I'm happy with this. Uh, I need to put something on that. I might put a, put a book or something. Book. Flip these two. Do book. There we go. Yeah. I like it. It's cozy. So if I could make one adjustment now. That was Friday. Oh, glad it's over. Just kicking back. Put you in the kitchen just behind you. It's gonna be hard. Just to get an easy thumbnail. I think I already got my easy thumbnail, but this gives me another option. Maybe. Alright. Love Heart doesn't actually control the light. It 
Just looking at it, seeing if I want to do anything else. I think I'm good. Okay. Should look pretty good. Yeah, Wario's gonna get shafted tonight. <laughs> just, I don't wanna hurt my my voice doing the voice. Flower bed. That's what we want. HK. Yeah, I could do HK to chill. Just, I don't know if I'm gonna get sick or it's just I've just done a lot of talking. But I tried to, I tried to do it earlier. I was like, let me let me see if I'm okay. No. <laughs> If I have to do any semblance of voice acting, I will probably hurt my voice. If I speak with my normal voice, it's fine. Alright, I mean, this this is nice. And when t tomorrow comes, this house will match the wall that's over there. And yeah, good. Uh, I'm not completely done with it yet. Okay, so here is gonna host a flower bed. All right, so let me. I think this is this is the way. This is the way. Here, three more flowers. So sticking to the theme of like orange, red, and or and yellow. Yeah, yellow. Orange, red, and yellow. Okay, so I do have this. I'm not sure if I have another. To your lip, let's see. Yeah, I do. And then get a hyacinth. Struggling with this area. It's you can see it load in every time I come here. Okay. Cool. So that's that's that. Good one to put one of these here. Just adding things that add to like the whole garden look. Okay, so we put a drain here. Oh, Ooh, 
why is this... I've definitely done something wrong here, so hang on, let to go up one. Okay, so it's misaligned. It's okay. Easily fix. Also, and then display on ground. There we go. That's aligned. I'm trying to make the most out of the space, so. Yep, that's better. That's better. Close line there. And then I have this space here. Okay, which means I can put the mower here. Oh, I can't go any further in because of the weird hitbox the house has. Alright, that's fine. I'm alright with that. Do this. <laughs> alright. The flower bed will go here. And I think that should cover it, to be honest. Once I put the flower bed in, that's, that's it. I mean, this has already got a pretty nice aesthetic anyway. I was a little worried about just what I was going to do here, because I wasn't 100% convinced, but I think this, yeah, this has changed my mind now. Um, one thing I just noticed. This is going to be a little annoying. I guess we'll see when the tree grows. This tree might not be a good idea, but we'll see. Push this outwards. Tree may or may not go. We'll see. Uh, I need to put something here. Just thinking. I might get like a, a little... Also, I suppose I should put some food. Uh, okay, ignoring the food for a minute. Hold on. I think I got the recipe for it. Let's see. This one I haven't actually made yet, but we'll see how it looks. I mean, I don't know what it's made out of. I know it's a, it involves glowing moss. Just get a bunch of stuff out. I'll also see what else I can cook. What? Oh, thanks. 
I'll see how it looks. Uh, it should be here. Yes, this. These are interesting. I want to see how this looks like. Alright, uh, one sec. Okay, I already got that. I'm gonna order more simple panels. <laughs> I'm almost out again. Also, let's see what food I have that I can make. Turnips, I mean, eh, that could be good to put next to an outdoor grill. I might go for this one, squid and um, sweet shrimp. Although, hang on, can I catch sweet shrimp now? Just something that looks visually nice. Sweet. Shrimp animal crossing. When's it when is it available? Oh, it's available from March till August. Never mind, I can't get it yet. That's a disappointment. Um can't get that. Just something that would be good at an outdoor cookout. Nothing's really... <laughs> the salad was good. Because you could just say, oh, well, they're cooking something on the grill. And then the salad is the thing you pair it with. I mean, I could get that on Sunday and then it would look fine. Uh, what else have we got? The savory bread is weird. Maybe I could just make some bread and put it there. There's no burgers in this game, I don't think. There's bagels. I mean, I guess you could argue that looks like a burger. Alright, we'll go with that. Flour and tomato. It's fine, they ran out of buns and they're using bagels instead. And it's just waiting for the meat to be done. Uh, tomato and... Uh, where is it? Flour. The good thing is I can just go over there and cook it. Yeah, I mean... Ah, basket of breads. Not bad. <laughs> it is... It is absolutely struggling. It, it does... It does not like it.
I think. Swap their positions. So then this is like this. So this doesn't take like a back seat, just do this. Alright. As long as I can still walk across here. Yeah, I think that looks fine. It almost looks like a burger. There we go. Yeah. Alright. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty fitting. Yeah. Not bad. Can I squeeze one more thing here, or is this like a, a no-go zone? It's a no-go zone. But I can put something on the ground at least. Let's just do that. That looks repetitive. Yeah. Better. I mean, this, this one took a while, but I did get there in the end. Alright, I'm gonna plant a hedge here. Shop is closed as well, but that's okay. There'll be a flower bed here, and then that'll balance it out, I think. Ah! Alright. I like it. The only thing with this place is, admittedly, it is a little boring, because <laughs> there's a lot of flowers. There's not really any, any kind of living area here. So I think for, the, for this, I might, I might do a, a, just a slight adjustment. I'll figure, I'll think about it, but I need to, at the very least, try and give them some form of living area. What I think I might do is close this off here, put these six over here, and then this region can kind of become somewhere where I put some living things in. I'll figure it out. By living, I mean just something <laughs> that isn't just flowers. I'll figure it out. There'll be a layout. It's just, this was just so I could keep track of the flowers, but... Yeah, okay. At the very least, I'm very happy with this. This this is good. And once... The yellow wall... Whose house is it? Uh... Daisy's. Doggo's house. What I might do... Yeah, I'm just looking at it and seeing how I can... expand it. I could alter the pathing, but then it just goes in a straight line. Eh, I don't know. I'll, I'll think... I'll think about it. <laughs> there's, go there's gonna be an answer to this. I'll figure it out. It's one of these things that I just need to... Get a mental picture of it, and then I kind of roll with a plan. I look at something long enough, and I, I kind of figure out what I want to do with it. I don't plan this all in advance. Yeah, yellow will be fine. All of this is pretty much me just winging it. Yeah. 
<laughs> the loading in. Oh, man. Even this, like, I'm, I'm putting a hedge here. One random flower's not great. Alright. Yeah, cool. I guess while I'm here... My, my money has kind of started to... <laughs> it hasn't run out, but there should be a little bit of a concern. I just don't know why it, it chokes so much on that particular part of the map, like, if anything, this part here is way more detailed, and yet it does fine. There's gotta be something about that part that just it doesn't like. Don't know what. So even though the house is maybe close to being done, they're still up here. I need to do something with up here. I'm just gonna make it look more like a forest type area. Alright, well, it's the one over there. I would imagine this is going to be done soon. <laughs> I still have the blue roses to duplicate, but getting close to the end. And then I'll make a dream for the island so then people can visit it whenever. And that'll be that. It's going to ultimately become almost six months of work. As crazy as that might sound. I should, I should do the furniture. I should, but the problem is there's trees that are covered in roses right now. There's a chance that the furniture's in one of those trees. Alright, I'll forgo it. But I do need to do these. for you. Got 
I mean, the more I look around the island, the more happier I am. Like, this... This looks so much better now. Not that I didn't like what was here before, but this is so much better. My... Like, these two... Uh, <laughs> I might get rid of them. It just seems random and out of place. Boarding trains can break now? They could always... They could always break, just like shovels. <laughs> Everything is breaking. It's alright, I got a spare. Yeah, I think this looks better. I don't know, it just looks too inconsistent. I'll go get a couple more cubes. Okay, so this is this is a spot where it's easy. Just do this. Or hang on. No, that looks too similar. Yeah, that's the one. I will probably get rid of this fencing as well. Like this fencing was just placeholder fencing, and I've gotten rid of it for the most part. It's not that it's bad fencing, it's now I, just because I used it everywhere. It's considered placeholder fencing. Uh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong category. I'm almost out of light cubes. I think if, um, if I do manage to be able to make the big robot, I'll move the Godzilla to the theater, and that makes perfect sense. So that, provided I can get it. Right now it's at the arcade, but... I think that'll be a good spot for it. it. Just, yeah. It's like, sometimes at theaters they have just a, a statue or something to promote a movie. But of course, it's just provided I can replace it. should be able to fit in that corner and still let me walk in. Otherwise, I'll just place it. It's fine. Um. Ooh. Am I gonna be bothered by this? Otherwise, I can do what I did originally, which is to put, like, box seats along here. It's, like, uh, a waiting area. I might even do that still. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, I have one hedge on me that I need to go shove somewhere.
think I know where. Then this can go with the pile of stuff. Oh, I was worried that was going to vanish. I don't know what's wrong with this area. It just doesn't like what I've done. Something about it makes it load forever. I'm not sure what it is. Alright. This is the stopping point for now. I can finish the rest of that off next time. And then it's on to uh, the, ne the house next door. Arranging things so it's still like they're selling all the flowers, but there's some sort of, I don't know, furniture, anything. And then uh, that'll, that'll be done. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. I need to think the space. I might take a look at it off stream and just see what I have to work with, but it was the same with this one that I did today. It's just, I needed to let it simmer, and I think what I did... Looked good, so that's it. All right, well, if you are watching this later, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And if you want to support the content on YouTube, the easiest way to do so is just do things like clicking the like button, subscribing, or you can also watch me play other things. Any one of those things does help out the channels a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. Appreciate it. But uh, we'll do more of this soon. So we'll see you around.